All right, welcome back to the channel. What have we got here? <gasps> we're back in 4x3, which means we're looking at commercials. We're going to dive into that commercial world. We're no longer looking at Patreon videos or little snippets of the Patreon videos when we talk about feature films because feature films, that's, I mean, they're sometimes fun to look at, but it's, it's not very comfortable insulting people's hard work on feature films. Whereas with commercials, you're getting paid. You're having a good time. Like that's fair game to make fun of you and all of your bad technique, or in this case, all of your good technique, which is exactly what we're going to be talking about in our little snippets. So this is not the Patreon section, right? If you are a Patreon supporter, each and every week you get a feature film breakdown just like this, uh, but significantly longer and with more wit and more humor. If you are interested in supporting the channel or the podcast, check out the link in the description below. Okay, let's jump into it. Here we go. We got a little commercial. Now, I'm obviously going to be providing some running commentary as we look at this thing. Uh, because we're looking at only one specific snippet, but it wouldn't be fair if we didn't look at the entire thing. So we're biking, right? We're outside. Lord knows what these people are doing camping. What is that? Some sort of transport vehicle that they're on and there's flashing lights. Things are interesting. All of a sudden, oh, is this a little bit of Bruno Avignon here? Long lens, lens flare. Yes, please. Oh, hello. Inserts, right? If you want to be, if you want to be a commercial director, learn how to take advantage of these little guys right here. Let's see. If we do this shot, okay, this song takes forever to set up. Like how many of these shots are you going to get per day? I'll answer, not many, right? And chances are you're going to try and smush this entire shoot into two days, which is going to be rough for you, unless you know how to do this, <laughs> which is insert shots, lots of insert shots. Why? Because they're cheap. And they're easy and you can make them look very, very good. You only need one little piece of knowledge to make an insert shot look good. What is it? It's backlight, the insert shot. That's it. It's not super complicated, right? Then you get some, you get one of your buddies here to dress up like uh, the kid from Dune. And all of a sudden you're out there riding your bicycles in the sand. Why? I don't know. And then you turn the camera upside down. You flip it around. You shake it a lot. Oh, here we go. Now, why does this little section look nice? Oh, I'm just going to go here. Why does this little section look nice? right? Because it's backlit. This is not rocket science, right? It's not going to take a thousand videos looking at commercials to realize how do you make something look nice? Backlight. Why? Because you get a little bit of highlight and then you get darkness in the background. So the thing that you want to highlight, that should be your subject. And then you get that little highlight and then it's hotter than everything else in the image. Look at the sky over here, right? Sky dark. Is the sky dark in real life? I don't know. Hopefully not where you live or else you're in the underworld, right? Normally it's really bright outside. That's what happens on a clear blue sky day. The sky is quite bright. You know what's boring? Quite bright. So what do we do? We darken it way down and maybe even put a little matte in DaVinci Resolve and you don't clean it up. You don't care that people realize that you've just put a little matte in there. Why would you? This looks like a nice image, right? We've got 500 cuts in the commercial. Guess what you can do when you have 500 cuts in a commercial? You cannot care about orientation or continuity or anything. That's why making commercials is fun because you shoot it on the day, right? You shoot this and you're like, this doesn't really match the stuff that we just did. And you're like, who cares? Like we're eating caviar for lunch. <laughs> what are we talking about here? This is gold. Anyway, you come in here, notice person's face, right? Kind of flat. Why is it kind of flat? Because we can't really get in there and change the levels. We want contrast. Contrast is what makes something interesting. That's why this whole backlight things works. But we can't really get it here. It's too far away. Right? We're too far away. We're too wide. We can't get any neg in here. All we can use is the one tool that we know how to use. Right? This is why cinematographers, you know, again, don't have to be a rocket science scientist. You just remember backlit. So we keep going. What happens when we go in? <gasps> contrast. Now, how are we able to get this level of contrast this close? I'll tell you because we got a big, solid piece of black fabric just over here, taking away all of this light. And she's listening. She's listening for uh, what are those things in Dune? Little things that are under the ground. You've seen the movie. I haven't, but it's pretty cool. Anyway, oh, we do a little 70s style zoom shot. Now, interesting again, why is this a cool shot? Because you have contrast, right? The entire time. All of these commercial breakdowns I'm going to be looking at, really the main reason we're looking at them is because they contain contrast. Oh, and that's, come on. Bruno Ave on 2012. Hello. This is an insert shot. This takes up, let's see, uh, if we're counting it out loud, one, two, two, three, four, five. You got five, maybe five seconds of inserts. 
five seconds of inserts is amazing <laughs> from a return on investment level. It's like, does it make sense that the sand is blowing away? No, who cares? It looks cool, right? That's why you do it. You're not trying to, you know, this is not Gandhi. We're not telling the story of someone's life. This is sand floating away. And this guy and girl are on a bicycle adventure. God, have you no sense of adventure? Don't you also hold sand in your hand? Anyway, this is nice because this is the credit card shot. If you're not familiar with the credit card shot, this is a shot as a cinematographer in your commercial career, you will shoot thousands of times. If you're lucky enough to have a career, you're going to shoot this shot thousands of times. I wish I was joking, but I'm not. And guess what? You shoot it the same way every time if you want it to look nice. And how do you make it look nice? You backlight, <laughs> backlight the object, set it against a darker background, and then you bring in a bucket load of neg over here, right? Because you want to take all of this away. If this is flat, if this area of the hand looks like this area of the hand, guess what? It's boring. Do people like boring things? Not the ones that pay. No, they don't. They want something freaky. They want something. Why do they like it? Because this doesn't happen in real life, right? You go outside and you blow sand. Uh, first of all, that's weird. Second of all, it's not going to look like this. And if it looks like real life, ask yourself, does your life, is your life interesting? Probably not, right? Probably not. Let's be honest. Your life probably sucks. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's good. Maybe it's good, but I bet you're not blowing sand with this much contrast. Anyway, uh, get good at inserts. And then what do we do? Like, Okay, if something is boring, we need like a checklist. If you're shooting something boring, how do you make it more exciting? Contrast, uh, make it not look like real life. Then if in doubt, just spin the camera, right? Just spin it. This is, unfortunately, I think this, the, the, this commercial is before the 4x3 craze. But like, oh, ripples of sand. Bop, 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 bop. Oh, we put it on a speaker. Yes, please. M moving sand. If the camera's not moving, move the thing in the frame. Right? That's how you make it cool. And you, now, do I have to say that this lighting is the exact same, right? This is the exact same setup, camera relative to key light. You've got yourself a little career. Now, the whole reason, is that Paul Atreyu? The whole reason that I wanted to look at this is for this scene here. Okay, we're going to watch this lady, and she's getting swallowed by a parachute, it looks like. They drug a parachute out to the desert. This lady's about to get eaten by it. This... When I talk about the sun wrap outside, I'm talking about the sun. The thing that you can't control is this way, right? And what what did we just talk about for five minutes? We talked about you want contrast, right? You out with your girlfriend to the desert. She's not looking like this, right? She's looking flat, not that way. And it's not looking good, right? There's no contrast. You want contrast. How do you do that? You turn the person so that half of their face is getting lit and half of their face is dark. That's how you take something that's pretty boring. And we're going to look at a, I mean, maybe it would be exciting if the parachute actually ate this lady, but I don't think that's going to happen. So let's see. Oop. So now we start to creep in. What you don't want to do, imagine if her whole face was this exposure, right? This amount of level. Not cool. What is cool? Uh, no, well, you got the colors, right? Color contrast, different video. How many things are we going to cover on one topic or in one video? It's not, we're not going to be able to do it all. Jesus, that was a lot of cuts. Oh, ah, there she is listening to the sand and we're oh, okay. Now what happens when you put the sun in the frame? This is good for effect, especially when you're doing a job with 500 cuts. It's like, well, how many times can we do the, uh, sun wrap that looks beautiful? Sometimes you want to make it ugly. This is not great, right? We got the sun in the sky. It's pointed directly down. We're not doing also, we're not doing like the revenant style revenant style. We would be at T 16s. And this thing would be like a little pin and you wouldn't get this whole blob around it. Uh, this, I mean, we're closed down you can see by the bouquet here, but, uh, when you get the sun in, you cannot really control the contrast anymore because you're getting so much level inside of the lens when we're looking at it like this. Uh, that's why I always say, try if you can, and you want something to look, uh, you know, quote unquote pretty, don't have the sun in the frame. Sun in the frame makes it significantly harder. And that, this is what flat looks like, right? That's flat. No contrast back here. No contrast here, nothing, but I mean, why not? Oh, now let's see this frame backlit, right? Shadow coming towards the camera. Interesting. This one sun going right at the dude, right? This is probably the way that you would shoot something. 
And then you'd go back and be like, why doesn't it feel that interesting or that nice? Whoop Okay. This is the last thing we're going to talk about in this ad. I don't even think we're going to get through it. Should we watch the whole thing? Why not? Oh, there's that parachute going to eat her. Boom. Now that's how you make something nice right there. Steps. It's dark. Oh my God. Are we in some sort of wormhole? Here he comes. Hey, get out of the bike. Get off of the bike and just ride in the car, dude. Keep going. There's that parachute again. Man, they really milked this whole parachute idea, didn't they? Bob, we're out of money. What are we going to do? Let's take uh, one of the PAs and we'll just go out and <laughs> pretend she's getting eaten by a parachute. Perfect. <laughs> and you're laughing. You think that's not how commercials get made. That's exactly how these commercials get made. Somebody goes, oh my God, we blew the entire, the, the entire budget on the first day. What are we going to do? We got no money for locations. I just put up the parachute. Uh, let's go to the part that I wanted to actually look at, which wasn't even here. Where was it? Back, right, not yet, not yet. There. Okay, this is good because we don't have the sun in the frame, right? We don't have any of the softness from uh, whether it was the parachute softening off before. This is harsh light. This is what it actually looks like when you go out there and you're about to start building for the beauty lighting, I would say. This is default. You land, you put the camera down, you're like, hey, this would be a good spot. Sun's out of the frame. Now what do we do next? Uh, well, the first thing that I would do is I'd say, you know what's not great and we can never overcome is this nose shadow, right? We like this because what we're going to do is we're going to take this and then we're going to add a big old bounce over here and we're going to get the sun, which is over here, to hit the bounce and then it's going to hit her face and it's going to take this line, which is really harsh, and it's going to soften that off, right? That's what we want to look nice. And maybe we, maybe it even wraps around over here. But what we don't want is this giant harsh thing on her nose. So what do we have to do? The camera has to move, crab left, and she has to rotate towards her right shoulder, right? Camera left. If she turns that way, we start to lose this nose shadow. Now, does she in the actual? She doesn't. We go the, op we go the opposite way. Oh, right. Almost though, right? As she starts to come around, we start to lose more and more of that. And if you want to make it look a little bit softer, a little bit gentler, which is normally, you know, we're in the land of commercials here. You're going to be getting uh, some weird looks from folks at the agency and client monitor if you're doing a Maybelline ad and this is the way the lady looks. Okay. So to make it slightly softer, what do you do? You just turn her. No sun in the frame, none of that stuff. Just turn her this way. Then add the bounce, then add the neg. And now you are laughing. Okay. So this is the commercial world. What do you think? I don't know. Uh, we're going to do a couple more of these commercials. I think that's the best way to go about it because it is kind of fun to play along with the gags, talking about the commercial lifestyle. Imagine this job being out in the desert. What, for at least at least two days? You figure by the sunset shot and the other sunset like close-up stuff, probably two days of action out there in the desert doing sweet F.A. It's not a bad gig. You come home with a couple parachute shots for the reel and you are laughing. Okay, uh, that's going to do it for this one. You probably didn't learn anything, neither did I, but we had a good time along the way. That's pretty much life. Okay, many thanks. We will see you in the next one. Goodbye.